All right, everybody, this is Anthony Brogdon. Uh, we're talking about mentorship and how that is so important in our community. I got a guest on uh, that's going to tell you a little bit about it, that he's been a mentor for a lot of years. Go ahead, my man. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Watts. I'm the president of the Boys to Men Youth Mentoring Program based out of Lathrop Village, Michigan. And, you know, we handle the boys in the Southfield and Detroit area, um, as well as some more programs that we're branching off into up north in Idlewild. Uh, we're working on a sportsplex center where we have a park for the community there that we're in the process of getting together right now. So um, I've been a mentor for about Boys to Men was started in 2018. So uh, I come from a background of my dad was a pack leader and a dad to the community and helped out with all the boys in our neighborhood. He, he raised the whole, whole neighborhood. So it's in my blood and it's just something that it's been on my heart to give back and do my part in the community. But right now, well, we're, COVID kind of changed everything up. So we were doing, uh, 12 week classes, but we ended up changing things around. So now we went switched over to some virtual classes. We've switched over to some, basically we're gonna do once a month. We did financial literacy in November. Uh, we have mental health awareness coming up. Uh, every month we're gonna have a different program and we're gonna offer it to as many kids as we can get. And you know, after that cap is full, we'll close it out at a certain date and then we'll start for the following month. Oh man, it's amazing, they love it. I mean, we teach them everything from, uh, like I said, the financial literacy courses, we teach them etiquette training, we teach them uh, how to apply for a job, how to, how to complete a resume, how to tie a tie, you know, um, money management skills, every, everything we can, we can offer. You know, we even have uh, mental health counselors come in and talk to them and we have consultations with the kids as well as their families. And uh, we do we do sports outings. We we clean up the community programs. So we we keep them pretty busy. What's been the most gratifying comment that you've gotten from one of the kids? Wow, one of them was one of my mentees. Um, this was at our black tie affair one year, and um, he actually got on the stage, and it was it was it was a tearjerker, man. I mean, that place was quiet. He gave his testimony. And he told about how he was in a dark place because when I got him, uh, he had been contemplating suicide. And when he got on that stage, and this was like, this was him, you know, this was all him. It, it was, it was, it shocked everybody because he, he asked me, could he go up and speak? He wanted to talk. And when he got on that stage and told his story, I mean, it was heartwarming because we got to see the product of what we were doing and the fruits of our labors because, I mean, it changed his life. And I mean, to this day, I mean, he's graduated from high school now. And I mean, he's a, I, we still keep in touch. We still talk. So um, that was probably one of the most heartwarming incidents with, with that young man. Yeah, so it's the boys number two men youth mentoring program. And our website is boys, the number two men youthmentoring.com and uh, uh, you can donate right on our website and it'll tell you our bio our history and you know we're on Facebook we're on Instagram so we, we're definitely easy to find all right well hey thank you so very much for uh, sharing your story with us we're gonna get it out okay. we're gonna get right. some, you know try to get some money to you whatever we can as all right. Of that. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay. Stay, thank you. Uh -huh. Stay strong.